Okay, everybody, I was going to change my icon, but I decided I would go ahead and just get one session of this done because, um, well, for whatever reason, I just want to get this done. Pandemonium. Now, this avatar is actually one that's going to be used by both me and, well, you know, for temporary purposes until we create another profile, which actually may have to be started all over again. Which sad sucks for the blacking, but hey, you know what? Minecraft is Minecraft. And by the time we start uploading this to the new channel, and I mean to the new channel, it'll be under the same freaking thing. But it'll be like, okay, this is what we do because we're not going to separate it. We're not going to do none of that because it's not going to be a separate deal. We're all going to, we're going to both do our own little sessions of it. And I'm going to put down my world. Somebody's turning to drown if you. They sink underwater. You can barter with piglins. Um, you spend your membranes to prepare your elytra. I'm guessing the pig brains are in the person uh, underwater brief exploration. You can actually do that if you're on um, whatever. But yeah, pretty much. I'm going to go with um, settings. Because now what we want to do is we want to go with uh, I am going to um, this out because we're going to start we're going to go mining yep on a little adventure i should actually get prepared just in case i have to fight some enemies so hang on i'll be right back so yeah if you or someone you know suffers from epilepsy which this game can cause uh, bright lights or flashing lights like that right there uh, which is, uh, I mean, that can cause it. It has, but which this game does have bright lights and flashing lights. Anyway, it can cause, it can cause epilepsy, uh, which is actually the seizures. And if you do, well, you might want to brush, dress, adjust your brightness levels. I've already done so. Just for the sake of that, as much as I can, just so that I can see and you can see. And, you, or you could fast forward or uh, skip ahead or click up the video ah there's something we can do and then we're gonna get out of creative mode here uh, survival now I'll put on creative and I'll put it on survival I don't know if I like that being up there at the top, but you know, whatever. This is mobile, I guess. I always have to be kind of careful because in case there's lava. What the hell was that? At least I got prepared. I guess I go into a mine shaft. So, yeah, levels don't matter in this game. Not at all. Treasure chest. Oh, 
I'll have a better base soon enough. In fact, I'm gonna put this. No. Let's see. I'm gonna put the. Oh wow. Uh, put that there. Like I said, I just started uh, as a base of operations. Um. Yeah, it's getting dark. Never mind. Got more on to mine, so that's what we're gonna do. Come on. Are you serious right now? There we go. Okay. Get a fresh start tomorrow. Tomorrow, I mean now. Okay. And then we'll stop the, the episode and stop. I'll try to look for a cave out of spring. But I wanna I'm gonna be digging downward anyway, so I'll be I'll be focusing on that pretty soon. So let's see, where is it? One thing I hate about this game, uh, I think about it. Is the whole idea that resources can disappear if there is lava underneath? There we go. So when I, I mean, when I turn to dig, I tend to dig. It's always good to prepare yourself, you know, to have a little a base. You don't have to have everything set up right now. But you do you should obviously focus on you know what's best to get a good base of operations to uh, basically make sure you have a place to start storing stuff because you never know. And you might want to have some Treasure chest inside of a chest. Yeah, so I, w I would recommend go ahead and in, in creative mode and getting yourself some chests because you're gonna need plenty of them for my resources. Oh wow. Should actually be pollen, stock pollen and some what you call it pickaxes, but I don't really care. If I'm being honest, and right now I don't anyway. But I will, I will, I will. will eventually start making pickaxes, but right now I'm just going to keep a good stockpile of it. To, um, absolutely satisfied that I can finally start making some. So I will do that. I'm not going to make dime, I'm not going to, I only cheated once to get a giant dime pickaxe going to get me started here. That's about it. So pretty much, I get to start it at least in the right direction because we need to survive and we need to start doing that. I actually got me some cakes. I don't know why. Or if that matters. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if that, I don't know if that matters, but it wouldn't be good enough. But uh, pretty much. Oh, wow. Uh. Uh, how did I get torches? Oh, I must have had some on the stand. Oh, okay, right, right, right. What's this? Weighted pressure, pressure plate, if I can speak. So, yeah. I think my house is well torched up, pretty much. 
I'll probably I'll be doing some torches off screen on the rest of my house, but I thought, yeah, what the hell? I we'll get this adventure going. It's just slow progress, but why not? You know. I used everything I could use, possibly use, except for a brick of, well, you know, coal. Which, if you do that, it saves you on resources. But you have to consider the possibilities that you shouldn't do that until you've done all the all that you can with coal. You're gonna want to use enough coal to make sure you've got. I'm not going to bother expanding walls or nothing like that. This is just a temporary base. Anyway. Is it dark yet enough? I've got plenty of torches in, in the chest, so it doesn't really matter. If not, I'll just do one of my right by my house. Yeah, there's one right there. There we go. That'll work. And I've got plenty to eat, so I'm I'm good. I can always get more. This is gonna be kind of scary because, uh, yeah, yeah, I'll be mining this in the next video. But for now, all right. So yeah, see you later. Bye bye.